Hey guys, it's Chris. From jets that are the best at what they do to ones that can do the job without ever being seen. Join me as I reveal nine of the most dangerous fighter jets in the world. Number nine, Dassault Rafale. Though the French are not known for their major weapons innovations, that did not stop them from trying and succeeding in making one of the most advanced and powerful jets ever built via the Dassault Rafale. The Dassault Rafale was not originally going to be built because France in the 1970s was entering an agreement with various other European countries to make a multi-role jet fighter that would be called the Eurofighter Typhoon. But when disagreements rose, France decided to do their own thing, and the Dassault Rafale was the result. This in turn helped the Dassault Rafale stand out from the crowd, because many of its systems, including the direct voice input, the RBE-2AA active electronically scanned array radar, and the front infrared search and track sensor were all made with in France itself specifically for this jet. Despite being made in the 70s and 80s, budget cuts pushed back the launch of the jet until 2001. But upon release, it amazed many, even becoming a part of the Indian, Egyptian, and Qatar Air Force via exports, and has been seen in battle in Afghanistan, Libya, Mali, Iraq, and Syria. One of its key features is being able to track 40 different targets at once. Number 8. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a fifth-generation multi-role combat aircraft, one that was designed for speed, stealth, and combat prowess. It's also the only international fifth-generation multi-role fighter plane in the world today, one that is still being produced as well. The funding for this particular fighter jet was primarily done in the United States, but various other nations from NATO provided help as well, hence its international nature and usage. Despite protracted development and going over budget with its making, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II has lived up to the expectations of the builders and the nations making it. So much so that the lifespan of the craft is stated to be up until 2070, barring massive upgrades in technology and such. The Lightning II has many powerful weapons attached to it, including the Sidewinder and Storm Shadow, as well as joint direct attack munitions. Add those weapons to the jet's speed, agility, and advanced sensors, and it has an edge over many other jets in the world today. The Lightning II also comes in three different variants to better outfit it for the needs at hand in terms of launching into the air. Number 7. Suhoi Su-57 in terms of history, Russia has been a nation that has produced many legendary jet fighters, with their MiGs being one of the most recognizable. But when it comes to modern fighters, they're pinning their hopes on the Suhoi Su-57. This particular jet fighter is meant to far outpace both the MiG and Su models of jet fighters, as well as be the first Russian jet to deploy stealth technology. Though much of it is still under wraps, many feel that the Sahoy Su-57 is meant to be the answer to what the United States did with the F-22 Raptor, widely considered to be the best jet in the world. In fact, production of the Sahoy Su-57 started all the way back in 2002, with a first viewed test flight happening in 2010. In 2018, a couple of pre-production versions of the Su-57 were sent to Syria, and it's believed that soon Russia will have up to 200 of these jet fighters in their Air Force ranks. Though that may not be the case now based on recent estimations of the craft, some of the information we do know about it is that it's not solely an air superiority craft. It can also make ground strikes as well as track surface targets. Though not confirmed, the Suhoi Su-57 is said to have all sorts of missiles and guided bomb capabilities, to the extent that it could possibly carry up to 16,000 pounds of missiles and bombs. Number 6. Mikoyan MiG-31BM The MiG series of jet fighters are by and large the most recognizable jets that Russia has ever used. Their usage in the Korean and Vietnam Wars have made them a staple of air warfare. With the Mikoyan MiG-31BM, we have the latest model of this esteemed line. But it also proves that jet design has come a long way since. The MiG-31BM was a massive upgrade to the standard MiG-31. And once the results showed, all those original aircraft were turned into MiG-31BM. Why? Well, the older models were still sturdy, but they were starting to lag behind in features and abilities. The MiG-31BM got the ability to do ground attacks, as well as long-range interceptions, precision strike and defense suppression missions. As of 2017, 117 of these jet fighters were made and put into service. The jet isn't the best in the air, 
but it's still very effective. And both this version and the older versions are scheduled to be in use until 2030. And all told, versions of the MiG-31 have been made over 500 times. Number 5. Eurofighter Typhoon Back in 1983, there was a desire to make jet fighters who could go beyond the visual range of combat, as well as do what needed to be done in battle. And the Eurofighter Typhoon was one of the results of that. This jet was actually the result of a group of countries that comprised the Eurofighter Consortium, which consisted of Germany, Italy, the UK, and Spain. The idea was to pool resources and ideas so they could create a jet fighter that was multi-purpose, could do battle in the air, on the ground, and be far-reaching. And they succeeded. The Eurofighter Typhoon is outfitted with some of the best European missiles the countries have to offer, as well as advanced avionics to ensure it has full awareness of its surroundings. Though admittedly not as good as jets like the F-22 Raptor, it does stand on its own and is superior to other jet fighters. Many feel this will be the cornerstone of new jets for the consortium as time goes on. It was officially introduced to the world in 2003 and is in use to this day. Also, it proved how nations could come together to make a very powerful and competent fighter jet. Number 4. Boeing FA-18EF Super Hornet the F Super Hornet is considered one of the best U.S. Navy jets in service today, as well as serving as the main jet fighter of the Royal Air Force of Australia. The first of the F Super Hornet was made in 1995, but large-scale production of the jet was put into production in 1997 after Boeing had acquired full rights to it. One of the things that makes this particular jet fighter so special is that it's one of the few remaining jets in use that has a gun and not just missiles. In this case, it has the 20 millimeter M61 rotary cannon, allowing for close-range dogfights when the needs arise. Obviously, the Super Hornet also has various kinds of missiles, including ones designed to work solely in the air or be used to target objects on the ground. Many countries have made bids to get the Super Hornet into their own air forces, proving how many see the value of this particular craft. Number 3. JF-17 Thunder The jet known as the JF-17 Thunder is special in many ways, including what its name means joint fighter. That's because this particular unique jet was made in collaboration between China and Pakistan. The Pakistani Air Force was full of very old fighter jets, so China wished to help bolster them with an effective yet low-costing model. Thus, the JF-17 Thunder was born. Originally, the JF-17 Thunder was built for aerial reconnaissance, ground attack, and aircraft interception. However, a more recent upgrade to the JF-17B has made it much more useful via air-to-air -air refueling, better sensors and armaments, and even the ability to engage in electronic-style warfare where appropriate. Add to that, a third model of the JF-17 Thunder is said to be in development right now, which would likely add even more powers and capabilities to the all already powerful jet. Since its induction, the Pakistani Air Force has made over a hundred of these craft, and they use them for various missions in their nation and to help control the skies. Number 2. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle You'd think that after 30 years of service, a plane like the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle would eventually be taken out of the lineup, so to speak. But instead, the F-15 Eagle has proven time and time again that this craft is something to behold and it deserves your respect. While this is an air superiority fighter, it's also one that is meant to penetrate the defenses of enemy bases, which has proven time and time again. For this is a plane that as a series has over 100 kills, and that includes kills during the Cold War era, where it was easily one of the most successful aircraft the United States had at the time. One of the reasons for this was its special electronics, which it could use to track and lock onto enemy fighters, even when in enemy territory where signals could usually be scrambled. Between that and its high speeds, high maneuverability, and ability to carry many missiles, the United States Air Force intends to keep the F-15 Eagle around until 2025. Weirdly enough, though, many of the kills in the F-15 Eagle were done by the Israeli Air Force and not the United States. Number 1. Lockheed Martin and Boeing F-22 Raptor In the U.S., the F-22 Raptor is still widely considered one of the best fighter jets ever made. This is due to several factors. First and foremost, the F-22 Raptor is a fighter jet that is nearly invisible to all radar systems, which makes it invaluable for both recon and precision strikes. 
Second, it was built for true superiority, which means it has the range, maneuverability, and the weaponry to take to the skies and take out all opposition. This is helped in part by its vast array of missiles. Later versions of the F-22 Raptor were outfitted to be even more versatile including being able to do ground strikes. Plus, the engines on the F-22 are so powerful, they could get the jet soaring up to 1,500 miles per hour. And it was so efficient, it could span a range of 1,600 nautical miles. The craft was first produced in 1997 and was introduced to the United States Air Force in 2005, where it was later made one of their key planes. The Air Force has raved about this plane for years and hailed it as unmatched by most other fighter jets. The only downside to the Raptor is the price tag of $150 million, and as such, the last new one was made in 2012. However, they're still in use today and are still considered one of the deadliest jets around. Well, thanks for watching. What did you think of these incredibly epic and powerful jet fighters? Which ones did you know about going into this list? Do you know of any other jet fighters that should have been on here? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time.